So anyway, so I have those um, two layers, right? Or three layers. So what I did was I selected them all. One, two, three. And I set the scale. So if you click on this little transform thing, these are different things that you can do with the text. Oh God, where did it go? I keep minimizing it instead of... So transform, you have anchor point. I don't know what that is. Position is like the X and Y axis of where it's on the screen. Scale is how big or how small it is. And rotation, obviously you're turning. And opacity is, you know, I don't know how to explain opacity. It's like see-through and not see-through. So over here on this timeline, this is the timeline of the animation. And these are keyframes. Uh, you see the, these little dots. These are keyframes. They just look a little bit different because they're minimized. So this first keyframe right here, I have the scale set to zero. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's probably really small on your screen. I have this scale set to zero. And then we fast forward a second. And the scale goes to 150. And then it goes back down to 100. So that's like a little editing um, trick. Like... Uh, it gets bigger and then it scales in a little bit. There's other ways to do that with this graph editor. Um, there's easier ways to do it, but I didn't do it that way because I don't know. So um, this is also rotated by negative 15 degrees. And honestly, this little animation right here, taco. I just copied and pasted it four times. So it goes taco, 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 taco. That's all I did. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And then I changed the rotation, obviously. I'm saving for TwitchCon. Woo! Yes, I'm going to TwitchCon. I already have my hotel booked. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Empress of Pax East. I wish, Nels. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> the posse and the ice cream? You should ice cream. I would love for you to go to TwitchCon. Doors! Doors, thank you for the host! Eight raiders from Dorsius have joined! <laughs> thank you so much! How you doing, Doors? PAX was GFG. I don't know what GFG is, Ice Cream. Were you at... Were you in Boston? You should teach us overlays? Um... Like, what exactly? Like, the Photoshop or, like, the Streamlabs portion of it? Ooh, Sea of Thieves! How was your Sea of Thieves go? Um, weren't you playing with... Rice Plant? Or was that somebody else? Zoe and I played Sea of Thieves together. Oh, cool! Did it go well? I feel like if me and Spartan played Sea of Thieves, it would either be fighting or just complete... Like, him just being so dumb. <laughs> Chase, thank you for the host. Tether. Talk to me, Tether. You were at Boston? Why didn't you say hi to me? We played earlier today. Oh, that's the tweet I saw. I saw a tweet about it and I was going to respond, but then I was at work and I didn't. I did a double. Ooh, Zoe is a bloodthirsty as a pirate. Mm. I bet you like that. <laughs> I just made it awkward. I made it awkward. We're all hanging out at TwitchCon? Heck yeah. You live near Boston? That's so cool. Um, my friend Skullstream lives near Boston. He had extra tickets, so I was like, uh, I want to go. So I went. I don't text you back? Where's the lie? <laughs> oh my gosh, boys. It was last minute? Yeah, it was so last minute. I like literally told my boss like, hey, I bought tickets to Boston over the weekend. Can I get off? I don't know if you guys are still paying attention to my After Effects, but I'm still gonna run through it, okay? So we do the taco. 
Uh, and then we have the cats coming in. So this is all the talk. All the reds are the taco layers. They're red because they're text. And then, okay, so this is the first cat. You could see here. Oh no, this is the first cat down here. So the first keyframe, I have the position, and it's all way over here. So then the the position flies in, and I set a keyframe. The the way to set a keyframe is you just click this guy, or this little stopwatch, right? So I just did that with all of them. Copy and paste. Fly in. The tacos go out. That's just setting the scale to 100. And then setting the scale to 0. So that makes them all go out. And then the cats. Two more cats come in. And then I literally copy and paste the first taco, 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 taco. And then I change the cats. So you see this keyframe key right here, they're all in their normal positions. And then one by one, I change their position to down. Just a little bit down. Set a keyframe. Back up. Back down. And see these markers at the top? I listened to the music to the meows and I marked them. And up and down and up. And then the tacos go away, and then it's done. So that's pretty much it. If you want to see it slower, I could play it in 15 frames per second. It's going to sound really weird. That's it. So then the full frame rate is... That's it. Please play it like that forever. So then I exported this file, export, add to Adobe Media. Oh, wait, 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 that's a lie. One really important step, and that's actually not even the right place. One important step is you have to click this little check checker box, because you're going to want the whole image to be transparent. So I, I have the black while I'm making it, so that way you can see that um, contrast. But you wanna make sure to click that. So you're gonna go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue, and then you're gonna come here to the Settings, click on Lossless. It's gonna, at least mine, sets it to AVI. I'm gonna move it down to QuickTime, which is going to be .mov. And then make sure this channel right here is RGB plus alpha. That's what's going to make it transparent when you export. And then you press OK, and it exports. And then, this is After Effects. You basically, I don't say it. You basically open it up in Adobe Premiere Pro. You download a plugin that lets you save to the WebM file and you drag the file and you export it as a WebM and you upload it to Streamlabs. And what WebM is, it's like a video codec for the internet and it allows, it's like a, it's like a GIF or a GIF, I'm sorry, it's like a GIF, but it has audio and it's better quality. So you don't have to worry about like audio syncing with Streamlabs from your GIFs to the, your sound bites. 
You literally just upload the webm, call it a day. Now the only problem is that I don't know how to code it to make the alert like full screen and like where I want to control the person's name popping up. So that's the next step. So um, for anybody that missed it, this is what it looks like on the screen. See that, that tether light has just subscribed. I don't have an option.